Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Awesome. Going to ask me about South Carolina? Yes, I think I might. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the best place in all the world to live. Well, you just wait just a second because we have to introduce ourselves first, right? Oh, okay. Sorry. You got to tell them who you are. Anyway, so I'm Victoria Merchant. This is Margaret Harrington. I am in Colorado. Margaret Harrington is in South Carolina. And today we're going to just talk about what South Carolina has to offer. Uh, Margaret Harrington is a real estate agent there. She's been a realtor for how long now? 27 years. And I actually am a broker. Okay, and a broker. And you were licensed where else at some point in time? In some point in time, I was licensed in uh, Connecticut, okay. Massachusetts. And then in the recession, I moved out to Colorado and became a broker there. Okay. So I'm familiar with your... your uh... Landscape? <laughs> <laughs> your bad weather. Or weather <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, it just snowed last night and um, and it's sunny now. So, I mean, that's the best thing I think about Colorado is that for one, it's a dry cold. So it's not like bone chilling like New England and um, it snows, but then the sun comes out. So it's like a winter wonderland, but it's not about Colorado today. It's all about South Carolina. So what other uh, important things should we mention to people? Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to put my eyeglasses on because you I have tea first. Do you have your T for for T with V? Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Greg, my son did this picture. I don't know if you can see it. Bridger did Yes. It. Who did that? Bridger. And my how old is he? He's 11. You should know, Grandma. <laughs> I didn't know if we were going to keep that a secret. I don't, well, if you haven't picked up, Margaret Harrington is my mother. And it wasn't, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, I guess. And um, Victoria's lived real estate her entire life. So all of those states that I've been a licensed agent, she's tagged yeah. along. <laughs> so sometimes. Okay, I found South Carolina uh, in 1993. Um, I was at that time living in Connecticut and I did it through a process of elimination. I went to all the states. I knew that I wanted to get out of Connecticut. Um, hated the snow, kept falling on the ice, getting a little older and wanted the sunshine. Didn't want Florida because uh, I don't care for Florida. Anyway, so here I found South Carolina. We packed up our bags one Christmas, if you remember, and we drove into South Carolina. We stayed at a hotel. We drove around and I had this wonderful feeling of being home. The weather was like fantastic. I mean, it was Christmas and I think the weather was probably in, in the 50s or low 60s. Yeah. And it was warm and beautiful and People were friendly and I just had that feeling of coming home. Well, so long story short, um, I've left a couple of times, but always wanted to return. And now I'm here for the duration and I'm so happy I am. <laughs> um, I live in Conway, which is 15 miles from the coast. So a short drive down to the beaches. We've got two state parks by a uh, pass. What, darling? Which beach? Okay, uh, Myrtle Beach State Park. And then we have, um, what is that called? Down at uh, Brook Green Garden. There's another state park where you can bring your doggies. That, 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 state, that pass that you have when I visited was like the best thing in the world. Cause it's like- Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's just nice beach. Like- Well, it's also private. People don't know about it. Yeah. And um, I like so I have, a, I have a little thing that I walk from one pier to the other for the exercise. It's actually one mile, so. Oh, very nice, good job. And then I can take the doggies down there, which is nice all year long. Yeah, and they're leaving. So anyway, so pe people, are, um, I have to tell you, so you asked me about South Carolina 
And um, so we are called the Palmetto State. And there was in this state 5.12 million people uh, in April of 2020. Okay. By July 2020, we were 5.12 million. So 72,280 people had um, moved to the state, relocated to the state, where we're the fifth largest, uh, the, the fifth state that's getting people coming in. So okay. reloc for relocation. Where and are they coming from? What? Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from, uh, they're all snowbirds. They're coming from the north. Uh, they're actually now starting to come from California. I just sold the house to a gal from California. She thought that our prices were phenomenal. Oh, well, you can buy so. like, you can buy like <laughs> 10 houses for, for one in California. Right. Well, um, so our average house uh, cost is a 257 medium price. Okay. $257,000. Is that like a two bed or? A three That's a three bed, bed. three okay. bed, two bath. Okay. Um, our prices have increased a lot. Uh, materials have gone up, labor's gone up. Um, deliveries are slow and the demand is huge. So the builders are taking longer now, but we always have lots of developments going up. Right. Um, and the prices have, have gone up considerably. So we used to be able, in, eight years ago, we used to buy a two, uh, three bed, two bath home uh, for 99,000. Amazing. That same house, that same house now, all of those people that bought those houses, um, they're, they're selling those houses now for about 250. Wow. So, yeah. So, so, and the nice thing, let me just tell you about the weather. Okay. The nice thing about South Carolina is we have the four seasons, okay? We have palm trees and we have live oaks. <laughs> um, we don't get any snow. We may have an occasional ice storm, which we had a few weeks ago, which stays around for about five minutes. But our spring starts, um, now it's February. By the end of February, all our azaleas and all the flowers will start coming out beginning of March, which is beautiful. I mean, Northeast, you got to wait, or out in Colorado, you got to wait till May or some awful March mud season or something. March is supposed to be our snowiest month, so. Ugh. Well, it's, um, it's very nice. Uh, we have, for seniors and for families, we have wonderful medical facilities uh, to take care of everything. Yeah. The other thing about this place too is that uh, for seniors, you're not invisible. And when you reach a certain age, okay, people don't see you anymore. Down here, the economy is pretty, pretty much based on um, seniors. Mm -hmm. And so everybody is wonderful. They pay attention to you. They help you. They're polite to you. So that's very refreshing. It's very refreshing. It's a very, very friendly state. Okay. Um, our taxes are very low. Oh, good. Yes. Um, if you're a full-time resident, you are taxed at 4% of the sales price of your house. So when you purchase a house, um, first thing you do is go down to the state house there and register and get that 4% because otherwise you'll be billed at 6% and that's a huge difference. Okay. So for people buying investment properties, people buying investment properties here um, or second homes are gonna get charged the 6%. Um, you can establish residency. The, it, by establishing residency, meaning you have a driving license and you have your car registered here, you are uh, entitled to getting the 4% rate. Oh, that's a good trick to know. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have huge benefits for seniors too here. I have a whole sheet. One of them is uh, after you reach 65, there's a homestead exemption. So the first 50,000 uh, of your taxes are not taxed at all. 
So I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what my taxes are, but my taxes are $125 a year. <laughs> Where did you get them so low? Well, my house, I renovated, remember? Right, right, right. So I bought it and it was very inexpensive. Um, they have not assessed it again. They're very slow at, you know, doing stuff like that, which is great because I put in a lot of money to the house. I've renovated it, so it's very nice now. But um, anyway, so it's a very pleasant place to live. So, so what, do you, what do you have to say? I remember you were telling me once, you know, you're very selective in, in the areas that you kind of, um, how do I put this? You won't sell, or you don't like to sell to people sell homes in places that are flood zones. Like you, very, oh, like okay, very good question. So we have lots of rivers that come in from North Carolina all the way and they go out to sea down here at the beach, down uh, Myrtle Beach, Georgetown, these rivers all go out. Um, the Waccamaw. The, the Waccamaw River is, is the main one. Um, we get, uh, because we're the South, we are, um, prone to getting a few hurricanes. Uh, we don't get tornadoes here very rarely. I mean, I think my other daughter was here once and they had a tornado threat and she got a little scared. Oh, it, they, don't, they don't really hit. Okay. Um, and then the hurricanes don't hit either. They, we are in an elbow and so they, they miss us and they go straight up to North Carolina. So oh. North Carolina and the Outer Banks will get hit always. Okay. Uh, we we'll get winds. We'll get winds, but we've never had a smack on hurricane here. Charleston did. Charleston got that Hugo years ago. Um, I've been here eight years and we're fine. Had a few trees come down in uh, seventeen, I think it was, but um, but basically we're very safe now. The rivers uh, in these occasions will we have a lot of rain. Okay and we will get flooding because we are sea level here. We are sea level. So uh, the rivers will, will swell and in various areas, it will be flooding. So oh, there will be flooding. Um, some areas you have to have um, flood insurance. I have never ever sold a house in a flood zone. I wouldn't want to live in, in a flood zone and I don't think you should. So when I have a buyer and I'm taking him or her around, um, we stay clear of the rivers. And, you've had and I always check when I'm looking at houses, I'm always, yeah. always always check to make sure it's not in a flood zone. And you've lost clients from that too, because the houses in the flood zones are cheaper, right? And you're like, it's gonna flood. And there was- That's that, right. There was that one big flood, um, I don't know when it was, a couple of years ago. And I think you checked in on all your clients and nobody had flooded, right? Nobody had flooded. Yeah. I think uh, there was one development that I had sold when I first got here um, and it came like a foot to the garage, Oh, geez. but, but never went in the house. So we were, we we're all clear. I'm, I'm very proud to say that yeah. never had any issues. Yeah. yeah. I think that says a lot to how uh, careful you are with um, when you help your clients. You're not just. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, I want them to be happy. I don't want them to be worried, you yeah. know. No, that's awesome. Um, and I take great pride to uh, when I do get a client because some some people have never been here. Yeah. So I take them on tours. Yeah. Well, and, and that's my next question. You specialize in relocation. Relocation. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you get a ton of people from where mostly. And Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Connecticut, um, New York. Uh, I've had people from Buffalo, I've had California, I've had Colorado, oh, Ohio, all over, all over. In Florida, did you uh, from Florida moving back, moving up because Florida was like- Oh, yes, yes. I just had somebody, uh, a, a couple, a senior couple who were living in the villages, couldn't stand it. And so <laughs> they came back up here. They were a friend of another client of mine. It was a referral. Okay. And they are so happy. They played golf. So I found a golf community for them. Oh, nice. And they are, they love it. They absolutely love it. Yeah. So they relocated in the, the waters, their name was, and they play golf every day. We have uh, about uh, 85 golf courses here. 
Oh, lots wow. of oh, so much fun stuff to do: boating and kayaking, swimming, beach walking, fishing. tennis, sea fishing, fishing. Of course, oh, of course, yes. Okay. Lots of restaurants. It's a it's a fabulous place to be. Fabulous. If if somebody is still working, what what industries do you have there for for jobs and stuff? I mean, okay. I well, we have. Well, a lot of people now are working at home. So I'm actually selling quite a few houses where they have a bonus room and they're making an office. Okay. So so they're working from home and their main office may be New York. Yeah. So we, we have a, an airport, a Myrtle Beach International Airport, which is growing every single day. It has direct flights up to Boston, um, Connecticut, um, New York. Jersey, New, uh, Newark, yeah. Uh, so they can just hop on a plane and in a couple hours you're up there at the main office so yeah, that's awesome. um but they we have a lot of um hospitality of course because we're you know we have the wonderful beaches and stuff so and the hotels and um lots of good shopping two wonderful outlets where people love to go get bargains you know <laughs> we all like a bargain <laughs> um I don't know. So now in Conway, where I live, which I live in the historic area, uh, we have um, a recreation center with an Olympic pool, a running track exercise machine. And um, if you're a senior and have silver sneakers, then you can go uh, in there for free. I, I actually go for free uh, and I walk, walk a mile when I feel inclined. <laughs> and um, so there's lots of wonderful stuff. I mean, restaurants, wonderful restaurants, lots of entertainment. Every weekend in the summer, there's there's something to do. And we have the vegetable, I don't know what you call that, uh, markets on- oh, farmer's in, market. Farmer's market, yeah. We have that down by the river uh, during the summer. We have outdoor concerts. We have, uh, we have a outdoor restaurant where uh, they have wine, they serve wine and they have entertainment. Okay. And and then we have the theater, which puts on amateur shows. In fact, I just went there with a client. We went to see a show. Yeah, we went to see a show, and uh, a little little scared about the COVID, but you know we wore a mask and uh, everything is fine. And that brings to another subject here now. Um, the COVID is very minimal here, very minimal here. We we've been very very careful. Most people have had shots. Um, I still uh, wear it if I go to Walmart or if I go to various shops, you know, I take care. And also uh, when it was really major and I had clients coming in and we, and I had to show houses, uh, the sellers would put a protocol as to wearing shoes, washing hands, you know, sanitizing, all that. So we, we took care of that, but that's no... We don't do that anymore. No. You know, if you sanitize your hands, take your shoes off when you go in to look at houses. Um, but um, we have lots of new developments, which are lovely. You know, the big builders are building down here uh -huh. and um, they have model homes. So that's fun to go look at the model homes. I've got a client I'm taking out on Thursday and I'm getting prepared. And I'm gonna show him the different price ranges, you know, see what he gets and, yeah. you so know, see what they're, they're at. They're from Massachusetts. Hmm? Okay, there's that new development going in that you're doing with Teresa. That's yes, that's uh, yes, that's a, a small family-owned builder, a BRB. Um, they're actually the builders. They're actually from New Hampshire, and they came down here many years ago, settled, and the sons run the business. And um, the homes are beautiful. They're all on one acre, and they're all custom homes. Okay. So they're a little pricier than the regular, you know, builder's home. Um, so they're uh, a custom. Hmm? Price point on that, you think? Well, they start, we've got one now for sale for 351 and they go on up. Okay. Um, so uh, there's a one, um, one, uh, it's gonna be in the 400s, it's a bigger house. Uh, that's got uh, two and a half acres. Okay. So, so this builder actually builds without an HOA. 
uh, and in the country and with an acre, with acreage because that's hard to get yeah, the acreage. Yeah, that's really nice because typically a yeah. lot of the new built stuff is HOA and they're really high. They can be high. So, right, and the, the HOAs are limiting too. I mean, you, you can't do this, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But um, in fact, yesterday I met a client out at our development up there and he wants pigs. <laughs> so so he's, he's got two acres and he they're going to be signing this week for that house. And um, uh, yeah, he's going to, he wants a pet pig. He wants some pet pigs. Uh, it's okay. He's got two little girls. <laughs> And um, yeah, I mean, if you get acreage, then you can put fences up and put a pool. Uh, you can do all sorts of wonderful things. But BRB, a uh, very nice builder. And uh, they're all custom homes. You can choose tile, color, and floor. And, when you know, is that new development going in? Okay, we've got two more new developments going in. Um, oh. And we have not been given the word yet. But it's going to be, a, I think they bought uh, 40 acres up in Loris. Okay. And uh, they got to put the infrastructure in. Um, permitting is taking a long time now. Oh, interesting. Uh, we've got so many builders, um, uh, you know, and the town has to issue the building permits before they can start. And so there's a backlog because when you get D.R. Horton coming in and building 300 homes, you know, they're, they're the first on the list. <laughs> so so uh, BRB being a smaller builder, it's taking longer. It's taking like six weeks to get a building permit. Oh, so wow. that holds up the building. That holds up the building. Well, plus so, materials too are taking a long time. So what do I? Materials. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Well, a lot of builders too um, have storehouses and um, buy in bulk you know so they have the but appliances are dragging now you know they're okay. taking a long time um awesome yeah well but it's um it's a very nice wonderful place to live um plenty to do lots of fun things to do and um and still reasonably priced yeah if people want to get a hold of you uh, to ask more questions and learn more about the area, how do they do that? Okay, uh, they're more than welcome to call me. So my number is uh, area code 843-455-4565. That's my direct cell phone. I have a wonderful website, uh, which they can go on and they can actually uh, see all sorts of information on my website even look for houses there. I have a tab that says, you know, new home builds and you can click on there. I've got a tab with for taxes. I've got a tab for my references. <laughs> so, um, and that website is www, of course, and then it's findscoastalhomes.com. The SC is for South Carolina. So it's findscoastalhomes.com. Okay. And um, you can reach me through that website. You can call, um, you know, I have an email. It's uh, realtormargaret16 at gmail.com. I'm with a big company. Um, I'm with the Realty One Group Dockside. We have 300 agents and um, a beautiful office down at the beach. What else can I tell you? <laughs> uh, social media, do you do the socials? Facebook, I do. Instagram, Twitter, I, LinkedIn, any of those? Well, you know, I find a lot of seniors are not really interested in that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're happy to be able to text, you okay. know, uh, an email. Um, I do advertise on Facebook. It's Margaret. Uh, Facebook is Margaret and Harrington Beach and Coastal Homes. Okay. S C. That's it. That's that. But, uh, that's also on my website so you can actually go to my you can go to the facebook page on my um on my uh, website okay All right. so um yes i'm happy to explain i can give a you know free consultation they want to chat find out all about it um i'm a senior so i can relate i've i've relocated masses of times so I know all about that too. <laughs> so um, I think uh, 
everybody's welcome to to give me a call or get in touch awesome well thank you so much thank you and how are you doing i'm good your, ma your market is very very busy out there in colorado right yeah we have um we have an inventory crisis at the moment um not enough homes too many buyers and so I actually am getting creative with one of my listings coming up. I'm sending out a postcard, um, seeing if anybody wants to swap homes because she wants to move from the mountains to Denver. So I looked up a bunch of homes that fit her criteria and um, I'm sending out a postcard that they'll get once the coming soon hits. So we'll see what happens with that. And um, yeah, I don't know if it, if it goes well, I'll talk about it in another video. <laughs> All right. But thank All right. Well, I appreciate the the visit. Yes. And uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. All right. So I say goodbye. Oh, uh, yeah. Goodbye. All right. Okay. Love you. Goodbye. Bye.